Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We're here at the Imuna Project. We're continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I want to continue on with some stories of Rav Moshe Lieb of Sasov. Um, just to give you a little uh, bit of information, Rav Moshe Lieb was a very tall man, unusually tall, and very broad, he was a larger than life character. And he loved um, song and he loved singers. Well, uh, one day, he was entertaining two uh, singers at his house. The singing was excellent, but as is sometimes common with people in show business, uh, they had a, a mischievous side. Believe me, this is true. Uh, trust me on this one. So one time, the Rabbitson, the Rebbe Sasov's uh, wife, put a pot of uh, hot coffee on the table for the Rebbe. While the Rebbe was away getting ready, the two singers drank up the coffee, and filled the pot uh, with water. Practical joke. The Rebetzin, the Rebbe Moshe Lieb's wife, didn't have another pot of coffee for the Rebbe. Things were not plentiful uh, in that house. She grew very angry with respect to the uh, singers. And she says, what do you need these ne'er-do-wells for? What do you need these singers for? All they give you is trouble. And the Rebbe just shrugged and said, Their beautiful songs waken my heart, and I can hear the angels singing. Another story with respect to the Rebbe, the of Sasov, Rebbe Moshalib's wife. There was a woman next door who had a lot of tzuras, a lot of tragedy. And, and she lived next door to Rebbe Moshalib and the Rebbe uh, She lost one child after another before they were a year old. The woman was in the tzaddik's house and she cried aloud, a God who gives you children just to take them away is not good. It's a cruel God. He's a cruel God. The Belib's wife, the Rebetzin, scolded her. That's, that's not the way to talk. What you should say is, we cannot fathom God's mercy and he does... And what he does is well done. The other side of the room, Moshe Lieb, who was reading and studying, he pipes up. No, said the Rebbe. And he came out to join them. And he, he addresses the, the woman, the grieving woman. He says, you must not be resigned. Take courage, woman. Take strength. A year from now you will have a son. And in time... To come, I will lead him under the chuppah, under the bridal canopy. And it was so. Uh, we're going to be doing more uh, stories along these lines uh, of uh, Rabbi Moshe Lieb, uh, Sasov, and the other great uh, Hasidic leaders. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immortal Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.